Hello friends, welcome to Saral Gyan. In today's video, we will learn about some cool new features coming up in Python 3.9. So keep watching. Hi there, Python is a great programming language. It evolves and brings out many helpful features with every release. Python 3.6 had app strings. Python 3.8 had the cute walrus operator. Today I will be telling you about cool new features of Python 3.9. The second release candidate of Python 3.9 has been released on 17th of September 2020. It is the last preview before the final release of Python 3.9.0 on 15th of October 2020. Now we will move to the cool features. The first one is Dictionary Union Operator. There are two kinds of operators, the Merge Operator and the update operator. The merge operator as the name suggests merge two dictionary. Till now we have two options to merge the dictionaries. Let's walk through them. Let's create two dictionaries. A is equal to A1 and B is equal to 2. Similarly a dictionary B, C is equal to 3 and D is four so we have created two dictionaries a and b so in order to merge two dictionary we can do a dot update b and then if we take the printout of a it will merge both the dictionaries but the problem with this method is that it updated the dictionary in place we can overcome this problem by doing c is equal to a dot copy we will create a copy of the dictionary and then we will update C with B and now if we will take the printout of C it would be same extended dictionary but it requires creating one more variable and then using it and the other method is using the asterisk so we can do like this also so this also merge the dictionaries but no one ever remember this syntax even Guido Van Rossum the founder of python has said that he doesn't remember this syntax so now we have a new syntax called merge operator and it is denoted by a pipe the pipe is this sign it is denoted by this so in order to merge two dictionaries we will uncomment out this these print statements and i will say print a and then merge operator and print b so here you can see that we can easily merge the two dictionaries using the merge operator. Now if a key appears in both operands, the last seen value wins. For example, if we add a common key to both the dictionaries is first and here also we will say E is second. So in this case, if we are merging A with B and B is on the right hand, then the value of E in B would win. So let's run it. So here you can see that E is second. Now we have changed the order and then E is first. So the right hand operand wins. The dictionary on the right hand will win. So you can see that a dictionary union will return a new dictionary consisting of the left operand merge with the right operand. Each of this must be a dictionary or the instance of a dictionary subclass. However, there is another operator called the update operator and it can be used for merging iterables with a dictionary the operator is a pipe and equal to so this is update operator so if we have an table say d is equal to i comma i square i in range 3 and we want to merge it with dictionary a so what we can do is we will do a and then a pipe equal to d then we will take the printout of a so if you run it you can see that it has updated the dictionary a and it has added a table as a key and the value pair but just like the first method it also update the dictionary added in place and do not create a new dictionary moving on to the next feature it is type hinting we all know that python is a dynamically typed language it means that we do not need to specify the data type while declaring a variable but sometimes this feature become a problem and we do not know what kind of value we are supposed to give 
so there is a type hinting in python 3.9 and i will show you in this in this shell so let's say we intend to create a function which will double an integer so what we'll do that we will be doing define add underscore int value and then it will return value plus value so now we have created a function like this but the problem with that is also we will pass a string to it it will still concatenate the string and give us the answer so here you can see but we must need a hint here so what we can do is we can say define add int and then value and then we can say that it will take integer as a value and then it will return value plus value and now you can see that when i run add underscore end so here i am getting a hint that the value should be integer so it gives me an idea that i should pass an integer here so i will pass 2 and i will run it so it shows 4 so this is about the type ending and now we will move to the third cool feature and there are two new string methods in python 3.9 we all love the f-strings in python 3.6 in fact f-string is the only string formatting option which i have been using since the launch of python 3.6 if you don't know much about it you must try it out and i have a detailed tutorial about it i will leave the link in the description below so in python 3.9 we have two new string methods using which we can remove the suffix or prefix of a string so let's say i have got a string that python is wonderful then i can use remove prefix and i can remove by the prefix and let's print it out and if we run it so it has removed py in the beginning and this method is case sensitive so if i will add py and it is not present in the prefix it won't do anything to the string and similarly i can use the suffix method so instead of prefix i will write suffix and here i will write ful and let's comment it out and see python is wonder so this prefix and suffix method are going to be very useful and we can use them very often instead of using regex for removing some of the characters from our strings. So these are the cool features which I wanted to show you about python 3.9 and let me know in the comment section which feature did you like the most and you are going to try it out when 3.9 comes out and this is it for today's video if you have enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up and share it with others if you want to be notified about the future videos please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon thanks for now bye bye